Hey guys, so I'm back with another video. Um, it's been a couple of weeks. Uh, family's been sick and uh, and uh, I felt I just had to take it easy a little bit. Uh, but now I'm back and uh, a friend of mine, uh, he bought this anvil and he wanted me to uh, true up these, uh, this uh, surface and also the bottom surface of it. So that's a, a really good project for my, uh, for my shaper which I haven't uh, done anything else to but, uh, but test run it. So I know it runs but now I gotta learn the shaper and this is a perfect job for it. So I'm gonna start by just taking my angle grinder with a flat disc and uh, just polish off the all the rust and everything because that really eats tool bits so i'm going to start by doing that so. to top and bottom surface and then i'm going to put it up in the shaper and we'll take it for a spin That's a pretty okay finish. Not perfect, but uh, but it's it's certainly uh, certainly okay for for uh, what it is. You still have a, a couple of these uh, grooves in it with some rust, and that that breaks down the the tool bit. So. Uh, I'm pretty happy with that actually. I'm gonna leave it at that. Call that good. So I'm gonna flip it around 
and uh, do the top surface. Well, it's turned around and uh, I just don't see any other way to fasten it. Now this is not the method I would uh, prefer but uh, I simply don't have anything, uh, any other way of fastening it. So I'm gonna see, see what happens. Just take a couple of, couple of cuts and uh, really really light cuts to, uh, to just kind of see what happens. And uh, hopefully it works out. It's got a lot of tension downwards. And uh, with that new flat surface in the bottom, it's, uh, it's really tight on, uh, or really, really true to this surface. So I'm just gonna hope that it works. So uh, here goes. I think it's finally starting to come together now. Uh, I've been out here for a long time not getting this to work. Uh, I think it's because there's a hardened surface on this anvil. But I'm not sure it could also be the, the rust that's on here. But uh, what I've had to do is, because the uh, high speed tool bits, they just bounce on this surface. Uh, breaking them down and uh, just making a very very uh, uneven surface here but uh, so I, I uh, what I did was that I actually put an uh, an insert uh, on this and uh, it seems to be working much better you see I have a really nice surface there uh, and Finally, I'm getting a really nice surface here as well. So I think this is gonna turn out pretty good. Uh, I just, basically I just need to uh, take off a lot of material here. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but it's roughly five millimeters lower here than it is here, or maybe four. Uh, so I'm just gonna keep grinding here and uh, uh, Eventually, hopefully, I'm gonna be down uh, down to making this whole surface flat. But it's it's really been taking a while, uh, mainly because I've had to change uh, tool bits and uh, rehone rehone the uh, the high speed tool bits uh, maybe 50 times or so. But finally, as I said, it's uh, starting to work here.
So it's a couple of days later now and uh, I've been out here in the shop uh, about four nights now I think to uh, try and get this this uh, anvil to, to some sort of reasonable finish. The problem I'm having is that when my tool bit goes uh, over this and when it comes back it wants to jump and then hit against the anvil and that causes the the tool bit to break so I've been having quite a lot of problems with that now I am using a carbide insert I've gone through many carbide inserts and uh, but I think that I finally have uh, have got it to a reasonable finish so and and gotten it down to uh, to a, a plain surface. So what I need to do now is just to take what I what I hope to be a, a last pass, a final pass. Um, on this machine, I have four different feed rates, and uh, I've been running at feed rate two. And I hope you can see this that it's it's. Uh, it causes uh, small grooves in the surface, so I'm hoping that when I do my final pass now uh, on on the first feed rate, it's gonna gonna make a, a better finish, and I'm also gonna put some oil on it uh, to hopefully get a, a nice finish. So here goes. Hopefully, the last pass. Finished product. Um, I'm pretty happy with the result here. Uh, it's I, I believe this was a, a hardened surface, uh, which kind of kind of made it hard to get a new uh, a good finish on. You can see that it's a little shinier here. You got a, a spot right there, and you have this area. That's not a, not as shiny as uh, as here, and I believe this is because it's hardened uh, differently on uh, different parts of the anvil. 
But uh, and I, I thought about maybe sanding this finish to get a, a perfect finish here, but I'm not really sure what uh, what Magnus wants to do here. So I'm gonna leave that up to him. Uh, my work here is done. It's been a really fun project. I've learned a lot about my shaper. My first real shaper product project. And uh, obviously you can uh, can use. Um, carbide and a shaper, no problem. But they are very sensitive uh, to to hitting the the workpiece. That immediately can make them crack. So, uh, but I've, as I said, I've learned a lot, and uh, it's been really fun. So, uh, Magnus, I know you'll be watching. Uh, your anvil's ready. Come and get it, pal. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Bye.